guys, welcome back to Cooking with Mimi, and today I'm going to attempt to make the Popeyes chicken sandwich. Yes, yes, yes. I am so excited. This has been it's been the most craziest thing going on right now. So I'm going to attempt to make the Popeyes chicken sandwich because it's sold out and I want more. Okay? Now, let's get started. Alright guys, let me show you guys the ingredients I'm going to use. Um, for the chicken, I have six pieces of chicken thighs, two cups of buttermilk, I have half a teaspoon of hot sauce, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I have one tablespoon of seasoning salt, half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, and one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. I'm assuming that's the secret ingredient. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw everything in a bowl and the Popeye's chicken sandwich is so nice and tender and moist. So I'm going to let it sit in the fridge overnight for about 12 hours and um, hope for the best uh, results. So I'm going to pour my Worcestershire sauce and my hot sauce, all of my seasoning blend. And my buttermilk. Ooh, yeah. I'm just gonna take my hand and just mix it all in. Make sure everybody's drowning in that buttermilk. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just going to let this sit in the refrigerator overnight for 12 hours and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, so this makes day two of the video. So last night I put the chicken in a bowl with the buttermilk and all the good seasonings and let it sit in the fridge for 12 hours overnight. So today is the next day and we're going to start the breading process. Now for the outside of the chicken, the crispiness of the chicken, this is what we're going to need. So I have one cup and a quarter cup of yellow cornmeal flour and one cup and a quarter cup of regular white flour. The reason why I'm using yellow cornmeal flour is because the batter in the chicken sandwich, it kind of had like a tint of yellow to it. So I'm just going to use the yellow cornmeal flour because I think that's what could have been used. And I have two eggs and I have my seasonings I'm going to add to my flour. So here I have one tablespoon of seasoning salt. You can use any seasoning salt of your liking. Half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning and a pinch of black pepper and give this a mix. Okay guys, now that my flour is mixed, I am going to beat my eggs. Okay. 
now that my flour is mixed and my eggs are beaten, I'm going to start with um, the breading process. I'm going to take one piece of chicken, put it in my flour. And the reason why I use chicken thighs, guys, is because it's the most moist. Okay. Then we're going to dip it in the egg. I want to flip. And then we're going to dip it back in the flour. Press that in. Because you want this to be very, very crunchy. Like the Popeye's chicken sandwich. And then put it aside. And you're going to want to do that for all of your chicken. Alright guys, so here I have about 5 cups of oil and I'm just going to turn it on medium low. You want your oil to get to about 325, 350 degrees. You don't want your oil to be too hot to the point where the outside cooks faster than the inside and the chicken needs to be cooked, okay? So I'm going to wait about a few minutes for my oil to heat up and then we can start frying our chicken. Okay guys, my oil has heated up and I'm going to put my first chicken in. So excited. All right, let's get started. Ooh, that sizzle though. All right guys, I made a little adjustment. I added more flour on the outside, like more regular flour on the outside while it was still wet and patted it because the look of the cornmeal is not looking as close and again, this is my attempt, okay? It's make, I'm making my version, but I still kind of want to get it as close as possible. Alright guys, so I noticed that frying it for 5 minutes worked better for me because my piece of chicken wasn't too thick. So, and I like the results of the extra flour on the outside. And that's going to fry for about 5 minutes and then we're going to get on to the next part. Alright guys. going to set it aside and let it rest. Now I'm going to toast my buns. It looks like they use a brioche bun so that's what I'm going to use and I'm going to turn my pan on medium low. Take some butter. Just going to lightly butter the pan. whole stick. I'm going to let my pan get nice and hot. This part shouldn't take more than two to three minutes. So you would want to stay there and keep an eye. This is what you're looking for. Nice and toasted. Yes. Okay. Then 
going to put some more butter. babies toasted. Alright guys, now time to assemble the sandwich and put it together. It's kind of a big piece, but I'm okay with it. So I'm going to put my mayo on both sides. chicken and the sandwich the top guys this is it all right guys this is the final product this is my version of Popeye's chicken sandwich with some biscuits and I can't wait to dig in all right guys now I'm going to try it it's a big piece of chicken, but you know, it's all right with me. You have to try this. It will save you some money and save you some time from waiting on that Popeye's line, okay? Oh, this is so good. Alright guys, I want to dig into this a little bit more. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Cooking with Mimi.